And today I'm going to be doing some springtime management on my hives. I also want to change out this 8 frame into a 10 frame. I'll get uh, into that a little bit more later on on why. Uh, some of the things that I'm doing at the moment to get ready for spring is I'm going to be taking off the quilt boxes that I have on there. It really did a good job for the moisture on some of these hives. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off as the temperatures are getting a lot warmer now. Also, you can see the corner of the 8 frame box there. Uh, the hive is just kind of damaged, uh, these boxes. They've been out here for a few years. I need to take them back in and get them fixed up, repainted, do some maintenance on them. So that's probably the biggest reason uh, and th that I'm changing out. And 10 frames just what I have. So that's what I'll be using. A few weeks ago, I removed the insurance boards that were full of sugar. Uh, I wanted the bees to lay off on the sugar and to start eating up some of this honey. This top box here, this whole deep was still full of honey coming out of winter. So since I removed the sugar, uh, the bees have definitely been eating up the honey and giving the queen more room to lay. Which is the, the goal for whenever you're trying to prevent swarming. Uh, one of the things in spring, you definitely want to give the queen like more room to lay. The top. I'm going to start with the bottom box, of course. So I just slid it over. I'm going to place the bottom board over there where the hive used to be and just load everything back up into that same spot. All the forager bees will go right back into it. Clean Shouldn't be an off. issue at all. Just clean off some burr comb right at the moment, getting the frames ready. Okay, so changing these boxes, kind of sorting things out. I do want to put most of the brood down at the bottom part here. So I'm going to start taking these out and seeing what's here. So basically, I'm just going to move these frames over. Uh, I want to keep with the yeah, same setup as your hive and put the honey on, on the outside. Uh, maybe some empty brood comb. Or just empty uh, like comb, and then the your your brood in the center. So as I'm going through and sorting these out, I'm just kind of arranging those. The brood that she laid there, uh, I am keeping that together, of course, not mixing that up. Drone comb. Got some bee bread around the edge of the brood. Well, a lot bigger part of the brood nest there mm -hmm. as I move closer towards the center. Little larvae inside the uh, empty spots there, so she's went back and laid. Keep my eye out for her as well as I'm going through this.
There's a freshly hatched one, a little fuzzy bee. Pollen being stored around the broods, it's good. You want to try to keep these together. Another brood frame pulling around the edge like it should be. Everything looking good. <laughs> Got some pollen there, a little bit of brood at the very top. A bunch of nectar coming in. And maybe honey and nectar flowing into that one. Just that around, we'll use it on the outside here. Whenever you're dealing with 10 frame hives, it's a little bit different management style. You do have to keep uh, the honey on the outside. And sometimes you have to rotate those frames around. So if they're not filling the 10th frame, you might have to substitute that with the 8th frame or the ninth frame uh, rotate those in whatever's not being used and that way the bees will start using it and you get all your frames being used <laughs> Okay, I already got the eight frames over, so here I'm adding two additional frames, give it the ten. Uh, these are two that I already had from a previous dead out hive, uh, so I might as well just use the, the comb. And this will give the queen extra room to start laying. It's going to be rainy the next few days, so we're going to go ahead and give this hive a pollen patty so it can maybe eat on it a little bit while it's raining. I don't know what that one's doing. They just left it. No, they're not always okay. This is full of honey. Another frame full of honey. Yeah, as you can see here, the top we'll box still some of has quite a bit of honey in it. The queen as we get towards the center, lay. you'll see that um, the bees are eating through the honey and giving the queen space to lay. Got a bunch of drone brood at the bottom. More brood, get some drone brood and things. Oh wow, I thought I had a lot of pollen coming on it. Oh, 
Ja, da war Kumpel. Brood, more drone brood. Actually, I'm seeing a lot more brood up in the second box than in the first box. A lot more uh, yeah. coverage up here. The frames I'm adding on top here looks like I have a one that is kind of blank, uh, not filled out just yet, just regular blank uh, foundation. That'll get to be something to work on and do. Oh, a little bit of brood, still quite a bit of honey on that one. And way on that side. Scrape this a comb off the bottom there. A big old frame of honey. And for good measure, I went ahead and threw a super up on top. These super frames are filled out, so they don't have to build the wax on these. They can just start filling up with nectar. I still have a couple weeks before our flow starts, but nothing wrong with putting one on early. Uh, the hive's big enough, it'll be fine with having it on. If the queen goes up there and lays, uh, once the flow starts, they'll start backfilling it in with nectar and push her back down. So, not really a problem at all. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys.